What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1821. Find customers with positive revenue this year. This one is marked as easy and has often been asked by Google in the past. So let's get into it. So we have a table called customers containing a customer ID, year and revenue. Customer ID and year make up the primary key for this table. That means every combination of these is unique. If we have a customer ID and year in the table, all values after that for revenue in this case are going to be unique. So we're not going to have separate entries. We only have one value per customer and year. That's important. Our task is to write an SQL query to report the customers with positive revenue in the year 2021. We can return the result table in any order and the output should contain customer ID 1 and 4 because they have positive revenue in 2021 Custom ID 1 having 30 revenue in 2021 and 4 having 20 revenue in 2021. That's it for this question. Let's get into coding that up. As I said, we have the company tag for Google. You know the question has been asked by Google in the past. And that might be a warm-up question. You might actually get an interview just to ease into the interview. It's marked as easy, but you could get the case of having to see which customers or clients for Google have made positive revenue using Google AdSense or something like that, Google AdSense company, uh, customers. Anyways, let's get into coding this up. We want to start out by selecting customer ID since we're asked to report the customers with positive revenue in the year 2021. So we should just report customer ID and that's in our table customers. So we're selecting customer ID from customers and now we're using our where statement as a filter to follow these conditions of having positive revenue in the year 2021. So we have a column called year and revenue in here which is exactly what we need. So let's say we want to take care of positive revenue first. So revenue should be positive. We can denote that by saying revenue should be greater than zero since zero is a neutral number which is neither positive nor negative. Meaning if it's greater than zero it's positive and now we need to take care of the year condition. So they should have positive revenue and that revenue should have been in the year 2021. So a year should be 2021. Now we don't need quotes here for 2021 since it's an integer value for year here and that looks good. That should work. Let's try running that code. As I said it's one to ease into the interview and if we submit that it will also be accepted. I tried that before. Now I've seen some people in the comment sections or discuss tab saying you'll need to use group by here and then sum up the revenue. So group by customer ID again and then sum up the revenue here or use having and check the sum. But that complicates it. It really isn't that complicated since we know from this sentence here in the problem statement that customer ID and year is the primary key for this table which means we only have one entry for each customer ID in year. So for customer ID 1 in 2021, we only have that 30 revenue. That is already the entire sum of revenue. We don't need to sum that up again. We don't need to group by to sum it up or aggregate it in some way because it's already been done. They could have been more clear about this, that it's already the sum of revenue. But judging from the input example table, yeah, you only have one value per customer in year. So you can pretty much guess it. and that's really it. It's not that complicated. Anyways, that's been it for this question. Hope you enjoyed it and it was clear. If you want to do more easy problems or get into medium or hard ones, I have playlists for each of these here on my channel where I just have videos on that difficulty. And if you want to see more videos in general, make sure to subscribe and stick around to the channel. See you all next time. Bye.